starting off the day guys it's 8 22 i'm uploading the vlog right now from obviously yesterday it wasn't supposed to start raining yet and we've already got thunderstorms outside so it's going to make for a very interesting interesting day this is a baby you guys hear that that's the sound of thunder in the distance. It's not raining right now. It has been raining uh, quite a bit, actually. You can see a little puddle on the brand new plastic right there. Here is how it was left last night, and we're gonna start in on it. We definitely have our hands full. Keith isn't here yet. Uh, Lori Lee is watching the baby. She hasn't been in a lot of the vlogs, guys, because she's been like kicking ass watching Phoenix so that I can be out here doing this, so I really appreciate that. Oh, I've already started the vlog, so there's no intro. Wouldn't that be funny if I had a double intro? Just to do it. However, this is good news right here, is that roof right there on the solarium in the basement is totally holding up right now. So that, that kind of tells me that what we're doing here should, fingers crossed, work. Sorry guys, I am not gonna do a tutorial on how to do plastic by yourself. <laughs> Keith's not here yet. Um, so I've, I've, I've started without them. I'm going through like the, the pre-stretching stages. First you have to like at least get it to where it's like placed where you want it and then you stretch it. What complicates it right now is trying to stretch this while it is raining because that extra water puts weight on it then you're not able to stretch it as much to get that nice peak. But hey, at least uh, we're staying dry in here. <laughs> Plastic doesn't get stretched when you're just sitting in here staying dry though. I have to go get wet This is what I'm talking about guys. I got up here So I could staple the top of this and I'm just like oh my gosh Look at that. Don't look at my shoes. Look at this over here. I'm standing on top of an eight-foot panel Look look what Keith got me. Isn't this cool? But there's a funny story behind this and he started telling it I'm like dude, this is like vloggable so I pull up, it's the same coffee stand Troy's been going to for, I don't know, 10 years? Yeah, something like that. So I pull up, right, and I'm like, hey, so I don't know if you know my cousin, his name's Troy, he drives a Ford Bronco, he's got glasses, kind of weird, right? And she's like, um, is he the one that does the haunted house? I'm <laughs> like, yeah. The weird guy, thanks for throwing me under the bus. Thanks for the coffee, and thanks for throwing me under the bus. Guess what we're doing today, Keith? I'm gonna sit here and watch you do plastic and laugh at you. It looks okay for now. Well, that doesn't look, that's scary. What the hell is that? Wow. Do you guys know how hard it is to, to put plastic on a roof and stretch it tight? It, it's, it's really a daunting task. And Keith loves it so much because he loves plastic. Yeah. <laughs> for anybody who's ever followed us for the last three years, you would know how much I fucking love plastic. I'd love to just burn it all and rid the world of plastic. That See? Means... He loves plastic. I had to share this. This is an awesome picture. Scary, because that's what we're going to be dealing with, but an awesome picture nonetheless. So this is what the second um, piece of plastic going up is starting to look like. But look, nice. Isn't that cool? It's like covered over here, so it's not going to rain. So we have to stretch this and get the second sheet done. I don't know how we're going to attach the two sections in the center so that it doesn't leak. It's exciting news. Okay. So I was just going to show them that you're working with wood. Yeah. I was going to I was going to tell them why, but apparently, whoa, bro, keep it PG. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 he's got a story. Mm -hmm. mm. French fried chicken, a little bit of mustard. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So for y'all that don't know, I'm moving back to Montana to be closer to the kids because it sucks. Boo! Yay for kids. Boo for kids. Okay. Anyway. That so, really sucks. Yeah. Troy, sad, sad, pissed off panda. My buddy Sean owns a house out there. He lives in Nebraska now. He said I could rent it out. Four bedroom, one and a half bath house, big shop, big two car garage on there. Do you guys see where this is going? With a lot of acreage and pasture. Hmm. So I'm thinking next year. Grazing? Oh, sorry, bro. Wow, is that a fat joke? <laughs> Just call me a fucking cow. <laughs> so I'm thinking next year I could do epic small town farm honk i need some ideas 
I am happy that that you are thinking like Haunt even when you're not like here. Whoa, you almost slapped yourself with a wood. That <laughs> and I would have missed it. Okay, so anyway, Keith is working on that piece right there because since we have stretched it, it has bowed this section of the Haunt in. So we need to pull this back out. So Keith is working on a stability piece that's going to attach both of these. So hopefully pull on the one a little bit. Apparently his wood is too long and that's the first time he's ever had that problem. Troy's working on getting this just kind of like ready so when Keith gets done with that we can hit this. And, and staple gun so far so good. So I'm up here trying to staple, I'm trying to staple this and I run out of staples. Keith, give me more staples. Um, how about no? Ah! I'll throw you the camera first. Camera. Woo. Rolling. Mm -hmm. and climb up the ladder and grab this. Just drop it. No, I'm not going to drop it. Drop the damn stapler. A new stapler. Drop the fucking stapler. Mm. Okay, you're not going to throw it back up. Dude, look. Hurry up. Oh, Troy's a big fucking chicken. Look at him up there. Look at him. Look at him holding the fucking wood, guys. He's like, hurry up. We're getting the second piece up and it's like t-minus I don't know how many minutes until we start getting dumped upon I'm trying to get it done ah! Wow do you need help nope good I wasn't gonna give you any anyway so far so good you guys can tell that it's starting to rain however not done tightening the section over here thunderstorms are starting so this is going to be really interesting we're gonna finish this. Keith is over cutting the next piece that we still have to get up because we got the one last piece over there, so I gotta finish this one off real quick. Yeah, it's gonna, this, it's raining. But the roof is working so far, yay. Keith is cutting the plastic and the thunder and lightning has started. <laughs> Are we stupid or what? Don't try this at home. <laughs> We're about as dumb as they come, Troy. <laughs> wow, that's an angry sky. Hey Keith, there's an angry sky out here. Do you still play Angry Birds? I haven't played Angry Birds in a while. Oh. It's an angry sky, but you know what an angry sky doesn't beat? What? An angry bear. I thought you were an angry grizzly. Same thing. So uh, Keith. Yes. The plastic's cut, right? Yep. So do you want to climb up there and put it up there? No. Why not? Because. Are you afraid that you're going to have like that lightning bolt that's going to appear right there in a second? You, you're afraid that's going to get you? No, I just don't do heights. Oh. Not like that. Okay. There's no stabilization. I, I, I'm i trying to get like the sky too, because I'm just waiting for that lightning bolt to like go. What would you do if it just came down? <laughs> I'd laugh at first and then I'd say haunt her down, film it, and then I'd probably cry. Apparently this is an epic test of the new roof. We've already solved one pooling problem. But you see all that vibration? That's due to rain. So far, so good. All I can say is, thank God this is a waterproof camera. Oh, we just got dumped on. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> I mean, dude, it's not tight at all, bro. But it's still pooling, or it's still coming off, huh? There's a little <laughs> bit of pooling, but I mean, it could be fixed by making it tight. Right. You know, I my... We just want to get it up there. My <laughs> goal right now is just getting it tacked up so it's not fucking pouring water in. <laughs> Lori Lee just got through taking. I'm not sure if she got video or if she got pictures. I mean, I had a pool over on my side, but I had to get plastic tight, so I pulled it tight. And sure enough, Troy got watered on like a waterfall right down my front. It was it was fantastic. Anyway, Troy's hot. He's steaming. You're not that hot, bro. Oh, bro. Come on now. These four eyes. What's that? Mm. Well, what was that for? Oh, I would probably look like a drowned rat. You do. You look, you look like a drowned rat too. I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway. Only time my hair is ever straight is when it's wet. <laughs> the only time Keith is only straight wet. Hey. Hey. Oh, I'm a lot. I'm. Yeah. I better not talk. I'm on a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> and Keith is stronger than Troy is. So. You want to play chicken? No, I don't want to play chicken. Hey, the baby's spooking huh? you. Look in the mirror, Phoenix. <gasps> it's the baby. <laughs> so this is the haunted mirror. And my, my parents are here. Say hi. 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 <laughs> Happy haunting. 
Oh, awesome. Look at that. <laughs> On cue. I don't even have to tell him. So we're just uh, going through the haunted house real quick and showing him what's what. Uh, no. He does not have a magnetic personality. But if your car does, look at this. A poor Halloween. How cool is that? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no. Fail. All right, I, 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 I got this. I got this. Okay. Are you, are you guys ready for this? Watch. Watch this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Whoa! Look at that right there. Oh, sick of it, Matt. So anyway, I want to go out in the haunt real quick. And oh, oh, yeah, she got these too. <coughs> faker, faker. He's saying, um, um, faker. You're not getting me on camera. <laughs> I know, right? Starburst candy corn. M and M's white chocolate candy corn. Where'd you get them? Walgreens. Well, you can't have any. Ha ha ha! There we go. I apologize, guys. I totally spaced getting a new photo of the roof, um, which is semi done. What I mean by that, oh, you, you can. You can see the outline. Um, the plastic is down, it is stapled into place, it does need to be uh, tightened one time, and the plastic here on the sides needs to be cleaned up. So by cleaning up, I just mean, you know, cutting and trimming the plastic or whatnot. This is the last room with the haunted mirror. So you can see the roof in this side or on this side. Then this one here, going over to egress. And here's the roof continuing over the piano and the living slash dining room and the kids room and all the way to the front of the haunt up there you can see it so we got a lot accomplished today and hopefully everything will stay nice and dry this year and you guys saw the torrential downpour that we were in and the roof held up during that we're supposed to get like a lot more rain over the next couple days so time will tell and we will fix things as we go this haunt seems freaking huge with this huge roof on it oh my gosh so i'm i'm really happy right now is this is this creepy? How about this? Yeah, I thought so. Some of you have wanted a quick walkthrough, so that's what we're going to do. Facade. Here's the study slash uh, entrance. Bathroom. Charlotte's room living slash dining room this is the one with the piano which goes to the kids room kitchen hallway big ass room <laughs> we'll just say that for right now oh look it's us. Outside of Haunt, this is going to be the corn maze section. This comes back over to the, uh, the basement, which looks like it's going down, but it's really not. As long as there's no spiders in here. To show you some of the detail on the walls in here. Um, this is part of the backstory. This is gray matter. It's actually kind of silver, but it's still gray. And basement goes to solarium with a ceiling. And this goes out. Prop cars to the right, I'm not using it. And then up here is going to be the staging area slash uh, merchandising. So there you go, guys. There's the haunt. Before we get started with COC, last night I asked you guys a question of how did I get the platform into the big room in the haunt? I took off one of the panels. It was easier and probably safer than trying to take the whole thing up and over and way too many pieces to disassemble the whole platform. Drop dead. Bro, you need a bigger ladder. Yes, yes I do. A bigger ladder would make me feel much, much safer. The PMV Productions, have you ever thought about changing the theme of your haunt? I'm not suggesting that you do because it's awesome, but just wanted to know. 
Um, if we go to a different venue, then yes, it will eventually be changed. But right now, we're keeping the backstory the way it is. And the awesome thing about her backstory is every year, the Hellmouth opens and strange things happen. So that gives us, that opens the door and the Hellmouth to like anything we want to do with the story. And I have thought about filming like a short video that people can watch in the queue line. It's just kind of hard because getting audio and video equipment out there and whatnot and beforehand actually sitting down and filming something while everybody's in costume um, is difficult for us to do. Bethany McCarthy, just want to let you know, I think you're awesome. Aww. The Clown and Bros. Hey, how's it going guys? Um, I feel way behind on building my haunt. You have yours all built and I haven't built one thing. Um, well, I'll tell you, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done and there's a couple props that I would like to get done this year, um, including the, the, the bleeding mirror over the sink. I just, I love that idea. So I would really like to be able to do that this year. Ramth talk. Hey bro, sorry I didn't get back to you. Got your message Friday today, AKA Sunday. Um, I did get the message that you called. So yeah, we're going to be playing phone tag Ram. Um, as to outros, um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to getting one from you, Ram. Amy M. Gibson, 1977. Everything looks great. I'm so excited to see the haunt completed. And Phoenix is the cutest, by the way. I know, he's a cute baby. I don't know where he gets it from. Could be his mother, could be me. I, I don't know. So that's it, guys. Happy haunting. Awesome build day. See you tomorrow. That's some bad hat, Harry.